Today we're going to talk about the threading attachment for the Lindo White Rose engine. It consists of a threading bobbin, it goes on the back of the headstock, and the follower. The follower is brought up into the threading bobbin, and as the handle is turned, the uh, headstock spindle moves forward at the pace of the, of the thread pitch that you've selected. The, uh, the piece is mounted to the back of the headstock by means of two socket head screws and it simply bolts on and then the follower rides in the channel and it's pushed up with the lever and locked in place. The, the unit back here, it's, it's very convenient and easy to use. The thread bobbin slides on, gets locked in place with the set screw. One of the useful things with this system is that you can do multiple lead threads or multiple start threads. We've set this up so if you want for instance three threads you start with the, the third or the three number three and then you will move it around to the next number three and this will be done on the machine we'll demonstrate this in a little bit you make the cut again and you'll go to the second or the third three if you're going to do two, you do the two of them with the two. If you're going to do four, you do all four of them marked four. The reason you would want to use multiple lead threads is because you can get a finer pitch with the same action as a coarser pitch. For instance, if you do a, um, an eight thread per inch bobbin with two leads, you'll get a 16 thread per inch thread on your, on your spindle or on your nut. And uh, that way the nut will unscrew off of the spindle at the same pace that a number 8 thread would, but you'll have the same depth and the same spacing as a 16 thread branch. So there are a lot of places that's advantageous when doing boxes or pins or, or what have you. The uh, kit comes with four sets of lead screws and, and bobbins. Um, and they can all be interchanged on there by loosening the set screw, pulling it out, and then replacing the next one. The, uh, the threading attachment is uh, designed to be used primarily with the drilling frame. And with the drilling frame comes a, a holder shaped like this where that you can put a 60 degree cutter in, or if you prefer a different angle you can do that. Or you can also put uh, flat cutters on to do your reliefs on the back of the threads. And we'll be demonstrating.